Weaving can seem like kind of a hard craft to get into, and I totally get that. There's all these tools and looms and yarns, and trying to think about all of that at once can get pretty overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be that way. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you all of the resources that I think will be most useful to you if this is your first foray into the wonderful world of weaving. Hey there, my dear friend. Today, we are talking about learning how to weave. I'm Darcy, and if there's one thing you need to know about me, it's that when I hear the siren call of a new hobby, I cannot help but to answer it. Just over three years ago, I didn't know that weaving even existed, and now I can make fabric that you could never find in stores. There's not a weaving guild in my area, and I'm kind of shy, so I didn't reach out to any of the weavers I knew when I started learning. While I would not recommend this, I I strongly believe that you can learn everything you need to get started weaving from the comfort of your own home without spending a ton of money, which are the two best things in my opinion. I'm going to start off talking about the resources that I used personally when I was learning, and then I'll talk about some that I haven't actually used but have been so highly recommended that I had to include them. Okay, first up are books. Books are great because you can buy them used, you own them, and you can refer to them whenever you want to for free, even if you don't have electricity, which is pretty neat. Okay, the first book I've got for you is The Handweaver's Pattern Directory by Anne Dixon. Its subtitle is Over 600 Weaves for Four Shaft Looms, and it's that and so much more. It's got a quick introduction to tools, looms, yarns, and planning your warps, and then it goes into all of the weaving drafts, different project ideas, and finishing instructions. The second book, also by Ann Dixon, is The Weaver's Inkle Pattern Directory. This book has the same great format and content as the Hand Weaver's Pattern book, but it's just specifically geared toward inkle weaving. Okay, last but definitely not least, and probably my favorite of all time, is The Handbook of Time-Saving Tables for Weavers, Spinners, and Dyers by Betty G. Roth and Chris Schultz. This book is the ultimate reference book. It has information about designing your warps, burn tests to tell what type of fiber you're working with, fiber properties, fabric and zipper widths, all sorts of information about dyeing, including natural dyeing, different sheep breeds and grades of wool, you name it, it's got it. Speaking of favorites, let's talk about my favorite way to learn how to weave, which are online workshops. As you can see, I'm a child of the internet. Books are great, but they're just not, they just don't, you know, they're just not the best way to learn for me. I need visuals, which leads us to Long Thread Media's online workshops. This is what I attribute to all of my success in learning how to weave. I could not recommend anything more. If there is one thing you take away from this lesson, I want it to be this. Use Long Thread Media's online workshops. Whenever I first started, they had a super generous 30-day free trial. And of course, me being me, I was like, I'm going to sign up for the free trial and binge watch all of this content and cancel right at the 30-day mark and they'll never get a cent out of me. But it's been three years and I'm still paying them, so congratulations Long Thread Media. You got me. In all seriousness, it's worth every penny. The online workshops have just about everything you could imagine related to spinning, weaving, and dyeing, except for tapestry. And it's not just the workshops. Whenever you sign up, you get access to handwoven Little Looms piecework and spin-off magazines sent to your house or digitally, and all back issues of handwoven magazine that have ever been published ever in digital form. You can view all of the workshops online before you ever decide to sign up, and if it seems like something that interests you, what I'd suggest is sign up for the first month, binge watch all of the content, and then decide if you want to continue. And if you do, don't be a sucker like me and just sign up for the full year. You get a discount if you sign up for the year instead of paying per month. I still have not done that. This is basically me just telling myself to sign up for the full year. Next up is online groups. This is another guild alternative. I use Facebook and Ravelry. Ravelry as a platform is really not geared toward weavers, but they do have some really good weaving groups. Facebook, if you know, you know, they have groups for everything in the world, so you'll be sure to find whatever you're looking for. There are all sorts of groups about different topics like modern weaving, tapestry, historical weaving, tablet weaving, weaving software, you name it. 
it's really invaluable to be able to get almost instantaneous feedback from people who know a lot more than you, and that's something you just don't get doing online courses by yourself or by reading books. Of course, my favorite groups are for buying and selling used fiber equipment. If you're looking to buy a loom, that's where I'd suggest you go first. You can find some great deals. And if you're interested in knowing how I would go about buying a loom for the first time, leave me a comment down below. Okay, the final online resource that I recommend, not just for beginner weavers, but for anyone interested in learning about weaving in general, and this one's wordy, so bear with me, it's the online digital archive of documents on weaving and related topics hosted by the University of Arizona's computer science department. And you might be thinking, why computer science? And that, my friend, is because computers would not have existed without looms. But that's a story for another day. This website is just a treasure trove. It's got journal articles and encyclopedia entries about weaving and related topics. It's got old monographs, books, it has copies of patents of industrial and hand looms, and really cool old-fashioned illustrations and photos of people herding sheep. It's a great place to go if you just want to go down a rabbit hole. <laughs> I have done a lot of digging, and I am sure I've only scratched the surface. Okie dokie, that sums up my personal resource list. Let's get into ones that I have heard so much about that I think might be useful for you. We'll start off again with books. Probably the most recommended book for beginner weavers is Learn to Weave by Deborah Chandler. This book is written as a course taking you from learning about the tools and vocabulary of weaving to different ways you can warp a loom to some pretty advanced weave structures. This was actually the first weaving book that I ever bought because it was just so highly recommended, but because I use Long Thread Media's workshops, I already knew the basics and so I never really picked it up. I eventually sold it to a beginner weaver when I sold my table loom, and I kind of regret that. A book that I do have in my collection and still have not used is The Key to Weaving by Mary E. Black. The one I have is the older edition. There's a revised edition called The New Key to Weaving that was published in the 80s, I think. The one I have covers just about everything, from understanding looms and tools, to dressing the loom, reading drafts, weave structures on up to eight shafts, including tapestry, and even how to use color theory in your weaving. It's incredibly thorough. And we're back to online resources, the ones that Darcy has not used edition. I've talked a lot in this video about weaving guilds and how I don't have one and how I kind of worked around that, but there is one kind of big thing that I didn't do that I maybe should have done, and that's join Jane Stafford's online weaving guild. I have a ton of weaving friends who could not speak more highly of this guild, and I don't know what my deal is, I just haven't done it. It's a combination of online workshops and those groups that I was talking about, except all in one place. It's got years and years of courses that you can get access to as soon as you sign up, and there are always new videos being published that you could take at the same time as other people. So it's really just like being in a guild online. Next is Rebecca Mezoff's Tapestry Workshops. Rebecca Mezoff is like the tapestry queen. Her work is incredible and so detailed and she dyes her own yarns and just whew, amazing. I haven't really explored tapestry that much, but if I were getting into it, she's the person I would go to. Her workshops seem really detailed and such a great value. And she's got a ton of them. You can look on her website at all of her workshops and pick which one you're most interested in. Okay, and finally, the last resource of them all, drumroll, is your, your local guild. If you have a guild, join it. You get to meet people, you get to chat about your passions and learn from other people's mistakes, ask people questions that know so much more than you, and just be in a community. It just sounds really great. <laughs> I know I said you don't have to leave your house, and that's true. A lot of guilds have Zoom meetings. Don't ask me why I haven't signed up for a guild despite there being Zoom meetings. I already said I was shy. This is about you, not me. Okie dokie, that is all for today. I've made a PDF of all of the resources listed in this video, plus some bonus ones like the yarn suppliers I like to use. I'm calling it the Beginner Weaver Toolkit, and it's yours for free in the description. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Weaving has genuinely changed my life in so many ways. 
I am so excited for you to embark on your weaving journey. Even if this video was the whole journey for you, that's okay too. If you have any questions or you know of some other really great resources for beginners, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to know more about how weaving works or you're curious to see what cool things handwoven cloth can be turned into, these videos are for you. See you there!